our chemistry project, we decided to do a project on the Lombardi effect. The Lombardi effect is when you take Play-Doh, then you need a tube made from plastic. The plastic interacts with an ingredient from the Play-Doh. The Play-Doh has an essence of gunpowder. When you take the tube and insert it into the Play-Doh and electrically charge it with the wire, causes the Lombardi effect. Let's do it. Now that we've got everything plugged in and ready to go, we're going to take our plastic tube and get the reaction going. But before I do that, you guys need to prepare for what's about to happen. So we found out all this information from all of the sources listed Blue. here, Blue. here, you know, just here, alright? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! Whoa! Love America! No! Whoa! Hello, 6th period chemistry class. For our actual experiment, we're trying to do something cool with water. We are going to be using a speaker to emit a certain frequency and pouring water over that speaker in front of the sound to try to make the water move with the frequency. This is making potential energy into kinetic energy. It's not doing anything! Maybe if we try to turn it up the hertz that we're playing it at. It's doing nothing! Can you try to get closer? Blub. It's still not doing anything. Okay, let me look some stuff up. Eventually. So in all of these videos of other people doing it, they all have a tube connected to the speaker, so... Why don't we try to get a tube and put it on the speaker? Maybe that'll work. Okay. Awesome. So after a while of not being able to find the tube that they were using in the videos, we came to the conclusion that maybe if we use a tube from a bubble container and cut off the end so that there's two ends for the water to go through and come out, maybe it'll work. A more steady stream of water. <laughs> Well that didn't work, so we can trash this tube. We're gonna go to my house to see if maybe we can use a different method to get this to work. Gosh, no, it's working. In the end, we learned that the water is not what needed to be in front of the speaker, but the tube needed to be. The tube gets shaken and turns the potential energy from the frequency into kinetic energy by moving the water. So, when the water came out of the tube, it of course conserved the energy and came out in a different form. 